When exporting meshes from Marvelous Designer, we need to check a couple of things. First, we obviously need to make sure the clothing is arranged how the item should appear in IMVU. So clothing folds, scrunched up sleeves and so on. Next, the mesh should at the very least use the default structure, which will be triangulated. And we also need to make sure that the mesh as a whole is joined together to form a uniform object. So there should be no gaps between the segments. Next, depending on how many materials are assigned to the clothing item, we may want to edit those as well. Essentially, or at the very least, to change their color to make them easier to identify once we get the mesh into Blender. So again, as a very minimum, we just want to change the color. So click on the sampler and in the pop-up, select and set a color. Then for the final basic prep in the UV editor, we need to check the UV layout, make sure that each segment has its own quadrant of the grid. And as close as possible, we want to ensure that our UVs are centered on each quadrant. This again is for ease of prep once the mesh is in Blender. Once we've got that checklist done, all we need to do in the 2D pattern window is select the components that are going to be included with the export. And then from the file menu, export, we can use object or object selected. So file, export, object. In the browser, give it a name. Click Save. We'll get an export dialog box. And for this, all we need is the Select All Patterns option. Single object. Weld all joins together. So all these gaps between our segments will be joined together to form a uniform mesh. This is important. We only need a skin or a thin mesh. Unified UV coordinates, that should be set. And in this case, we only need a diffuse map at a minimum, and this will aid UV mapping in Blender. And everything else can be left at the defaults, including save with absolute texture image file path. So this will save an OBJ and MTL file. And then we just click OK. That exports the object. And then to import this into Blender, all we need to do is File, Import, and then make a selection. In this case, that's Object OBJ. So Wavefront, File, Import, Wavefront Object. Select, browse to the location of our file. Select the object. We can leave the settings as is and then import. And as the scaling may be different from the default of Blender, so it won't appear in the 3D view, what we can do is check the outliner for an entry, select, in this case, pullover. So what we can then do in object properties, we can change the scale settings X, Y, and Z. So in this case, we can type 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, and there is our top ready to be brought into a clothing toolkit project.